Hi, I'm Michael Correa, and this is Psych Exam Review. In the previous video, I talked about attraction and relationship formation, but I didn't talk about attractiveness. And yet, we all recognize that some people are more physically attractive than others. So, does physical attractiveness matter in our interpersonal relationships? It probably doesn't surprise you to learn that the answer is yes. Physical attractiveness does matter in which relationships we form, but it also matters in ways that it probably shouldn't. And this brings us to what's called the halo effect. So the halo effect refers to the idea that people who are judged as being more physically attractive are also assumed to have other positive qualities. They're often seen as being smarter, being more capable, being more outgoing and social, and they're assumed to have higher self-esteem. So our physical appearance can influence the assumptions people make about our personality traits and about our skills. This is part of the reason why attractive people feature so prominently in advertising. It's not just the case that advertisers want us to associate beauty with their products or that we want to associate ourselves with these attractive people by buying those products, but it may also be the case that we see these attractive people as being more knowledgeable and therefore their recommendations of a particular product might have more influence over us. So physical attractiveness does matter and it's one of the best predictors of attraction between people. If we find somebody who's physically attractive, who's rated as being physically attractive, it's likely that they'll have a partner who's also rated as being physically attractive. But what does it mean to be attractive? What is attractive? Are there universal laws of attractiveness? Or is beauty in the eye of the beholder? Well, it seems to be the case that there are some universal laws of attractiveness. So if we look cross-culturally around the world and we ask people to rate signs of physical attractiveness, there are certain features that are rated as attractive all over the world. And one of these is symmetry. So being physically symmetrical is an indicator of good health. And this is probably the reason why it's seen as being so attractive. Because if you have a genetic defect or a disease or an infection or a parasite, then these are things that might cause you to develop asymmetrically. And so somebody who's asymmetrical might have some genetic defect. And when we're looking for attractiveness, what we're really looking for is a chance to pass on our genes to our offspring. And we want to pass on healthy genes. And that means we want a partner who's also healthy. And so if there's a chance somebody has a genetic defect or an infection or parasite, then we probably don't want to pass that on. And that means we'll see that person as being less attractive as a potential mate. Now, symmetry also matters in our facial features, but there are also gender differences in which facial features are considered to be attractive. So in females, the facial features that are often considered to be more attractive are those that we might consider to be cute. Things like large eyes, a small nose, and a pointed chin are often considered to be attractive in women, whereas in men, facial features that are more attractive are often those we might consider to be more dominant. Things like a thick brow, a sharp jaw, and a broad chin. Now, body shape is also part of what we judge as physically attractive. And one sort of universal law that seems to arise in investigating which body shapes are seen as attractive in females, it seems to be the case that a waist to hip ratio of about 0.7 is considered to be very attractive. So it's not about the specific size of the waist or the hips, but rather that the waist is about 70% the size of the hips. And this is related to the sort of classic hourglass figure that's seen as attractive in females. In males, however, the ratio that seems to be more important is what's called the hip to shoulder ratio. And in males, a hip to shoulder ratio of about, of about 0.9 is considered to be attractive. And so this is the case where the hips are about 90% of the width of the shoulders. And this is often referred to as the inverted triangle shape, broad shoulders down to a narrower waist. Now, physical attractiveness is compelling. We, we feel this strong sense of uh, almost wonder when we see very physically attractive people. And why would this be? Well, if we think about attractiveness as the signs that we could pass on healthy offspring, we can think of somebody who's very physically attractive as representing a chance for our own immortality. Because we want to have offspring who aren't just healthy, but we want offspring who are also attractive, because that's gonna improve their chances of finding a mate as well. And so when we see somebody who's very physically attractive, it's so compelling because it's a way of saying, if we could just pass on our genes with this person, then our offspring would have a better chance of being healthy and have a better chance of passing on their genes. And that means our genes could continue for many more generations. Of course, it's not just physical attractiveness that matters. Other non-physical attributes matter as well. And so 
Other things like certain personality traits are important, particularly in the case of long-term partners. Things like intelligence also influence how attractive we consider someone to be. And another non-physical attribute is a way we can increase attraction and strengthen a relationship. And this is self-disclosure. But unfortunately, if you're looking for an attraction strategy, it works on yourself rather than on other people. What I mean by that is when you disclose more about yourself, when you reveal personal details to someone, it can actually make you feel closer to that person and you can feel more attracted to the person that you tell. Now, a corollary to this would be that if you can get somebody to divulge their personal secrets to you, there's a chance that they'll feel closer to you and it will strengthen the relationship between you. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. If so, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.